Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create a stream screen animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. It will be a common stream screen animation for all type of games and stream. You can easily customize this stream screen according to your need. Also you will get the project file from the link in the description. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects. First, create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Before moving forward to the video, hitting the red subscribe button will be awesome. Also, hit the bell icon for all the latest updates. Alright. Right click here. Create a new solid layer. Makes your solid layer to white color. Let's call it star. Now, select the layer. Go to effects and presets and search for CC starburst. Apply it on the layer. Now first change this scatter value to 128. Set speed as 1.25. Grid spacing value to 32 and set size as 20. Now select the layer and search for CC light. Select CC light burst 2.5. Apply it on the layer. It would be fade. Set the color to white. Set the ray length to minus 400. So you can see the rays coming out. Let's make it better. Hit the layer. Search for matte choker. Apply it on the layer. So here is nothing on the screen. Now let's change choke value to minus 125. Now change the render setting to third. For first preview. So this is our starburst. Rays are ready. Now in project window, create another composition. Let's call it text animation. Now type a text as you want. I write starting. Let's choose a text color. You can choose your own color. Now select the layer. In effects and preset search for Vegas. Apply it on the layer. Set segment value to 2 and blend mode to transparent. Also change the color to white. Let's add a rotation value here to 5 seconds, change its value a little bit. Select the layer and press U to see any difference. Select both the layer and press F9 to easy each them. Click here on graph editor and make sure you are in edit speed graph. Select this point and drag it like this. So this will be our first animation you guys can see. Now select the layer then press Shift plus D to open opacity. First change the opacity value to 0. Then add a keyframe. Then go to 20 frames and set the value to 100, 100 just like this. And at the end add a keyframe of same opacity. On the last frame make it 0. You can adjust it from here also. So you can see it would fade out at the end. Now select the layer. Go to effects and preset and search for glow, then apply it on the layer. Make sure you are in 32 bit. To change it you can press ALT and left click. Now set glow radius to 50. Alright now select the layer and press CTRL plus D to make a duplicate of this layer. In bottom layer delete all the effects. Now in the second layer press D to open opacity. Delete all the keyframes. Now on 20 frames first set the opacity value to 0 then add a keyframe. After 10 frames set the opacity to 100. So it looks just like this. Now select both layers and press CTRL plus D to make duplicates. Drag them to the bottom. Now let's change the position and change the both text. I am changing the both text to soon. Then select both the layers and scale it down a little bit. And adjust the position as you like.
For the top text you can do one thing. First take the pen tool and do shape like this. Now select the shape layer and press S to open scale. At 20 frame add a keyframe on scale and at starting set the scale to 0. So it will look like this. Let's type the next text now. I am typing the next stream will be. You can choose your own text. Scale it down and adjust it into the shape like this. Now click on this text layer and click on the animate button then add position. Change the position value something like this. Now click on this add button and add opacity. Set the opacity to 0. Open range selector 1. Add a keyframe on start. Go to 1 second and make it 100. Next open advanced, change character to word, and set both these value to 100 just like this. Alright. Now press U to see keyframes. Change the position to 20 frames. You can adjust the keyframe anytime you want. Now for shape layers animation select the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor and drag this point like this. So this will be our text animation. You can add your social media here. Now let's create another composition. Let's call it final. Now bring the text animation here. Here also bring the first composition we created earlier and drag it onto the top. Now press S to open scale and increase the scale as required. Select the top layer click on the pen tool or you can use the ellipse tool, and create a mask like this. You can place the moss in the middle or adjust the mask a little bit. Change add to subtract. Press F to open feather and increase the feather value a little bit like this. Alright. Select the top layer and press D to open opacity. At 15 frame add a opacity keyframe. At first frame set opacity 0. Now select bottom layer, on effects and preset. Search for CC light sweep. Apply it on the layer. First select this point all the way to the left side. Add a keyframe on center, go 1 second and drag this point all the way to the right side. Go to 2 seconds and change this point back to the left side. Now press and hold alt and click on this stopwatch icon. Then type loop out duration here. So it will keep moving all through its timeline. Select second layer. Press S to pen scale. Add a keyframe on scale. Go, go to 1 second, change its value to 110. Then on the last frame 100. We will have to do same process. Press Alt and click on this stopwatch icon. Type loop out duration. Dot so it will keep moving like this. Now let's create a new solid layer. Let's call it star. Add starburst to this layer and set size to 30. Now add a solid layer for background. Go to effects and presets and search for gradient ramp. Apply it to the layer. Change its start and end color like this. You are free to choose your own color. Now set ramp shape to radial ramp. So our stream screen is ready.